Hello, fellow folders. Fold Gaming here. Um, today, I just wanted to make a very beginner Eden emulator guide. Um, this is going to be for people who just downloaded the emulator. They already got the games ready. They just don't know what to tweak in the settings. I'm going to give a general settings guide on what to enable, what to disable, and what to test. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the GPU driver manager. The reason why this is important is because the right driver can give you a slight FPF, FPS performance or it can give you a slight drop. The device that I'm using is the Samsung Galaxy Fold, um, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. It has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. So for my phone, I'm going to have the turnip driver for uh, for the Galaxy phone on Android. So, uh, but you don't need to worry about this because uh, at the bottom left, uh, it'll say fetch. So you just click on that and it'll tell you the recommended driver for your device. So whatever recommended driver it shows you for your device, go ahead and click on one of them and then hit show download and it'll download the driver and install it for you. It should be able to install it for you. So now that we got GPU driver out of the way, the next we're gonna to go to advanced settings and we're going to click on the graphics. So this is another important, uh, important setting that we're gonna mess with. So we're gonna click on the resolution here and the sweet spot for a lot of people is between 0 0.75, but if you're playing your game and you notice that it's running smoothly and you want to increase the resolution even more, try 1x. But for now, go ahead and leave it on 0 0.75. For disk, for disk shader cache, leave that on. Use asynchronous shaders. This one's also important. Leave this one on too. I believe it'll uh, it'll process the maps. It'll process the the shaders, the characters. Um, it'll try to process it before the game shows it, but it might show a couple of glitches if it does that. But that's that's fine. Um, once all the shaders are uh, are processed, uh, the game should be. Uh, you shouldn't really see a lot of glitches. Um, but if you scroll down where it says anisotropic filtering, this one improves the quality of textures. I kept mine on 2X, haven't had any problems since. Um, you can go ahead and leave yours on auto, but if, you, if you're if you having good performance and you want to improve the quality of the textures, you can go ahead and to put it to 2 or 4X. And uh, FSR sharpness, I just leave mine on 25%. And aspect ratio, I left mine on stretch to window because uh, it fits with my Galaxy Z Fold. But uh, for the most case, you can just leave it on default 16 by 9. After that, we're going to go ahead and go into system. Uh, here it shows the device name. I, de I named mine Diagram. Limit speed is enabled. Limit speed percentage is on 100%. Dock mode, I left that off. It increases the resolution, but it it might hinder your performance a little bit so i'm just leaving mines off for now and lastly for performance overlay i have my performance overlay stats enabled so that i can see which parts of the game is dropping in fps so that i can go back into my settings and you know continue tweaking the resolution or uh, other settings so uh, fps i have that enabled show battery temperature i have that enabled also and the battery info so make sure you have this enabled if you want to test your games and see uh, at which parts it's dipping in quality and performance and for device overlay um i don't i don't really focus on this part here but i believe all this here is the default setting so that's fine and in Edensville, just go ahead and just leave that, leave this alone for now. These are like very advanced settings. I haven't touched any of these, but I just leave it alone for now. And, um, but that's pretty much it for the beginners. This is pretty much the, the general settings that you should uh, touch as soon as you have your Eden emulator installed. And um, if you guys have any questions, uh, any trouble with these settings, uh, leave it in the comments. I'll do the best I can to help you guys out. But other than that, there's nothing else more I can teach here. These are pretty much the basic setting, uh, basic beginner uh, settings guide. 
and um and yeah i might make another video with um uh, with the general settings that I have for Dolphin emulator and the basic settings that I check when I have that emulator downloaded. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. But yeah, go ahead and please leave a like and subscribe if you guys found this useful and um, you guys are looking forward to more guides in the future. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.